Welcome to my The Kids We Were review. Go and hit that like and subscribe button to be kept up to date with all my latest content. Kanan here and thank you for joining me. First, I think I need to say that I'll be keeping this review as spoiler free as I really can, limiting the content I show as well. Although I think it's safe for me to say that this game is one of those kind of like setting things right and also has time traveling elements to reach a goal. This after all is actually explained in the first few chapters so it's not really that much of a spoilery thing. The game however is dialect heavy with some light puzzling with missions to fulfill to reach well said goal. Solve mysteries if you will. Within this you get to move around, examine and talk to people and there's a a lot of chat that can be done. It's up to you whether you want to speak to everyone though. You might say that it's more of an interactive story but one with more to do than the normal type of interactive stories I've ever played. Within that you can collect coins, look at a map if you well get lost and it will help you along your way. There's even a menu system where you can look at like those important characters, the mysteries that you need to solve and have solved and a catalog that well you collect along the way. I would definitely say that this game is handled rather well and well tells a good story and instead of kind of like being dragged along with it you're like well just take them with it. If I really had any gripes about this game well it would be the fact that the constant loading bits and bits where you talk to people and kind of like fade in and fade out between these sections became a little bit annoying and slowed the game down even more than it actually was already. Luckily enough this doesn't really damage the game too much but it just gets a bit annoying at certain times. I did however like the look of it, sort of mm, cutesy polished Minecraft type thing going on and I felt pleased whenever I looked at it all. The sound I felt was equally as good but there were like some little bits maybe during the actual gameplay like the birds being too loud in the background sometimes and it kind of like just I don't know grated after a while. But this by no means was like a game breaking like thing and you know I kind of got used to it even though I noticed it quite a bit. But I will say however they had some really really good like real worldy sounds. Take the train for instance. It definitely sort of like drew you in and made you feel like a part of the actual you know scenery and game and like you're actually there in a way. With all this in mind it's a very relaxing, interesting and at times touching game that for those into this genre I felt it would be well worth getting at this price. I kind of felt like there was value for money here. And kind of like for those that aren't really into this genre maybe they would enjoy it as well. It, it does actually tell a good story. The good. Great story as I said. It looks good. Sounds good, really just a relaxing interesting game. The bad. Those fading in and out bits did annoy me from time to time and some of those sounds didn't sound quite as good or appealing or I don't know great to me as I played on, also just from time to time. And now I suppose we better get to that all important score and I'm going in with a massive 4 out of 5, so close to a 5 out of 5 but them fading in bits slowed the game even more than it was but luckily it didn't really spoil the game too much. And so what are your thoughts on the kids we were? Leave them down in the comments, that is where they belong. And now for my alternative. And that's going to be what comes after. Another emotional story driven game, this time a little bit shorter but obviously the price reflects that. And shorter yes, but still worth a look after you've completed The Kids We Were. Although if you've got a better alternative, leave it down in the comments. That is again where they belong. 
And so hit that like and subscribe button to be kept up with more of my content, especially if you made it this far and you haven't already. And why not come and join us in our community discord? We'd love to have you there to come and chat with us like-minded people. Because life is better when we switch together.